I am truly in love with this fragrance and every man that wears this perfume can come up to me and I will be sniffing the hell out of him. Hey guys, it's Dario. Welcome back. So today's video is all about apple fragrances or may I say fragrances that have apple notes in them. And I'll be presenting you two fragrances from which first is a feminine one and second one is a masculine one of course. Although they are both classified as unisex fragrances. I do not really see that in them because clearly one is a bit sweeter and one is a bit alcoholic, um, a bit masculine, airy and all sorts of that. So if you want to see a full review of these two perfumes that I'm going to talk about, just keep on watching. Don't get me wrong, but I think that women are a bit more impatient towards what they want to get from a video, so I will start my review with Tresordi's Limitless Shopping via Della Spiga. And what I really wanted to mention uh, about this perfume that it is a 2020 launch, so it is in shops for quite some time now, but it is not very known. And I really want to change that. So, noses behind this perfume are Quentin Bish and Amelie Jacquin. And yeah, that's about it. Let's get straight into the nose. Yeah! At the top, you should definitely get apple, honeycomb, and bergamot. In the heart notes, there are such notes like honey, jasmine, mahonial, and rose. And once it dries down, it has to smell like tonka bean, heliotrope, musk, and hawthorn. But for me, it is truly an apple in a honey jar and yeah the quotes in Fragrantica says that this should smell like honey sweet floral fruity vanilla fresh powdery green fresh spicy and animalic scent but I do not really get that animalic feeling out of this perfume it is green it is a bit fresh spicy but it really is a sweet kind of gourmandy fragrance with a lot of apple in it and with all that being said let's get straight into sniffing this perfume because i cannot wait and i really want to smell it true sordi limitless shopping by we are dallas bigger <laughs> and it is what they say it is because you can definitely get this fresh crisp apple out with the first spray and with the first second of smelling it and it is sweet it has this floral feeling in it but mostly this perfume has apple and honey so it basically is sweetened apple I'm sorry for dogs barking because, well, they are outside and everyone is actually riding around the house. Uh, our neighbors are a bit... are a bit moving around. <laughs> yeah, and, 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 that it is, and that is it. It is honey, it is apples, it, it's a bit floral. And yeah, with that being said, I do not really feel any harsh musk in it. It is not metallic, it is not really heavy in my opinion. It is perfect for spring and summer if there is not a lot of heat. Because it could be a bit too cloggy in my opinion if you are wearing it in a huge heat yeah it is playful it is unique it is crisp the apple makes this really really special in my opinion and the price for this perfume is 196 euros for 100 ml bottle the bottle is stunning amazing as always the packaging is the same as any Trasodi uh, fragrances but yeah, I am wishing for myself a bottle of this in the future. 
Longevity. Longevity of this perfume is from 6 to 8 hours on skin and on clothes. So not that, not that strong, but definitely not on the weaker side. So an average longevity for this perfume. And the projection is, in my opinion, from minimum leaning towards average and moderate. So you won't get a huge bubble around you and um, not a lot of people will be turning heads into your way. But it is truly a beautiful fragrance to wear for everyday basis and feeling sexy, feeling playful, feeling crisp and fresh, but at the same time really sweet and feminine. So that's what I'm getting from this perfume and I'm really loving it. And now that I'm done talking about Rousseau's Limitless Shopping Via Della Spica, which is a feminine fragrance, I'm going straight into the review and into smelling the masculine fragrance, which is, once again, Killian's Apple Brandy on the Rocks. And you guys, I am not lying to you, this fragrance should suit every man on the planet because it is sexy it is masculine it has this alcoholic feeling in it and it is fresh crisp because of that apple i am truly in love with this fragrance and every man that wears this perfume can come up to me and i will be sniffing the hell out of him sorry for telling you this but it is true this fragrance is magical. It is not too harsh, it is not too sweet or too masculine, too woody. It is perfect for everyday basis, for spring, for summer as well. It is beautiful. And now that I've done rambling about what I am feeling with this fragrance, let's get straight into the information about it. So Killian Apple Brandy on the Rocks is a 2021 release, so once again, it is in a market for quite some time now, but it is perfect and I don't think that there is another masculine fragrance which plays with apple note this well this well so the nose behind this fragrance is Sidonie Lancasseur I think that I'm butchering this name of a perfumer but I'm really sorry I do not know how to spell it but we know it and let's just move on the notes of this perfume are <laughs> at the top you should get cardamom and bergamot which is truly here at the heart notes there are such notes like apple rum brandy pineapple vanilla and moss which makes it a bit more deeper a bit more fresh and at the top uh, oh at the base you are having abroxin and cedar abroxin uh, is the note that makes fragrance last a bit longer a bit makes it a bit more airy and fresh so this is truly an amazing fragrance i'm sorry that i'm telling you this once again but i cannot stop loving this perfume truly truly guys if you have never tried it please do it for me for yourself for your wife your girlfriend your friends and for yourself I mentioned for yourself well if you are a woman please do it for your husband boyfriend brother or a friend if you want to make them really surprised for their birthdays or anything like that okay let's get into the review shall we I've just remembered that because of that excitement to smell it for the first time in today I forgot to tell you the quote so Fragrantica states that this perfume smells fruity, woody, warm spicy, fresh, rum, sweet, green, amber, vanilla and aromatic. Yeah, let's get into the smelling, shall we? <laughs> so, spraying this perfume makes me really, really anxious in a good way because 
Mm. This fragrance, you guys. Okay, so I've forgotten how it smells at first, and it is definitely bergamotty. It is zesty, it is a bit sour, and it has this alcoholic feeling, feeling in it. And it's not because, well, the fragrance is made out of alcohol, but it is because of the notes that are seated in heart notes. <laughs> So, cardamom, definitely, bergamot, as I've said, truly, there is zestiness in here and you cannot escape it. And when it starts to dry down, you are getting this beautiful, beautiful apple. But it's not alone. You are getting, definitely, you are getting brandy and the brandy is definitely with ice. So, if, so the name of this fragrance is on point it is fresh it is cold because of that ambroxan that makes this the fragrance on the rocks <laughs> and yeah it is definitely masculine it is definitely fresh it is definitely a bit airy but it has these heavy tones because of the alcohol that is put in here Oh my god. <laughs> it is perfect for every man in the world. <laughs> so from late teenage years, from 18 years old up to, I don't know, 70, 80 years old, if you want to smell elegant, if you want to smell cool in some way, this is not a revolution from Carnar Barcelona. This gives off this coolness and, you know, this, this cool vibe, but in a different way. <laughs> this fragrance is... Mm. One thing that I'm telling you about this fragrance that you should definitely get your hands on it, smell it in stores, get an atomizer, get a tester, a full bottle if you want, because this is it. You guys, if you want to have one fragrance for spring and or summer, this fragrance is it. It makes you feel cool. It makes girls turn heads into your way and it makes you feel confident, in my opinion. I gave this to my dad because, well, it is a masculine fragrance and I am a woman, but when he sprays it on himself, I can definitely sense it and I'm always giving him compliments because always this always hits the right spot for me for my mother too so yeah price is 50 dollars for 7.5 ml which is a small travel size bottle of 255 euros for 50 ml bottle and 380 dollars for 100 ml so it's not the cheapest fragrance whatsoever but it's really really worth it longevity of this fragrance is Quite a good one, six to eight hours on skin, ten hours on uh, on clothes, even a bit more, is promised to you by me. And the projection is from moderate to strong. So as I've said, this fragrance turns heads, and yeah, you should love that. And with all that being said about this fragrance, what I really want to mention about both of these, that they are amazing fragrance for everyone that loves apple, that loves quite interesting and unique fragrances, that loves to be smelled by others, especially Killian's one. And they are a good quality fragrances. They are not cheap, but they are perfect for everyone who loves apples. And with all this, I am once again thanking you for your good time, for likes, subscriptions, 
Comment down below if you have ever tried one of these perfumes or both, I don't know, and whether you like them or not. And would you give them a try? And with this, thank you once again and I'm wishing you a happy, happy and you know, sunny, sunny day. Bye.